Sir? What are you doing back here? Well, I'm just looking for the bathroom. You're, well, it's not I back here. I gotta go to the bathroom. Well, it's up front. It, I I need to go to the bathroom now. I'm a paying customer. I need to go to the bathroom now. Well, I, it's just a... Well, are you going to tell me where the bathroom is? If I don't go to the bathroom in like 10 minutes, I'll probably start pissing down my leg. Son, I'm an old man. Been shopping at the store since before you were born, let alone working at this shithole. Okay, sir, I understand. I call it a shithole because most of the time when I come here to find stuff, you don't have it. But aside from the point, I need to go to the bathroom, son. Sir, if you just go up to the front, go, there's a bathroom. Yeah, if over. I go, I just came from the front. There's no bathroom up there. Well, sir, I can point you towards the direction. Yeah, right? you can point me there, but I'm going to piss in my leg. I need to go to the bathroom right now. <laughs> well, Mr. I can take you to the bathroom right now. It's yeah, no problem. you want to touch me in the bathroom. Does your manager know that you're assaulting customers? It's... How long have you been working here? What does your name take? Say, Bearcat? What kind of name is Bearcat? What do you even do with this store? Why are you even back here? I need to go to the bathroom. Sir, I just need you to go back. Hey, you were also out of the half gallons of half and half. To the front. I need that. My wife, you know, she's cooking a big meal today. I'm my grandson's manager. graduating college soon, and my wife's making him a big dinner. Okay, sir. I need okay, that I'll go, I'll buttermilk. Go. Okay, bye. I just get out of the back. Okay, okay. okay. You can't be in back here, so just leave. You got to go. I need to go to the bathroom. Okay, then the bathroom's up front, sir. Okay, well, live from a <laughs> studio audience, <laughs> hey. it's Let the Freaks Be, starring Bearcat. Nicholas Bearcat Valenzuela. And Nathaniel No Needles Lopez. You got that right. No Needles, two X's, a de- two decades, straight edge okay, let's forever. Get, let's, let's get into this. You're, you're embarrassing me. I'm embarrassing you? No, no. How about you just rewind back like two minutes? Yeah, dude. It That's was, embarrassing. That was, that was pretty bad. No, that was... Man. Well, that was... Uh, <laughs> you were interrupting me. I literally, That's what they fucking yeah, I know. do, it's, man. It's very much what they do and what you're talking about. It like made me. You were you said you had to go use the restroom, but it made me want to tell you like why the fuck are you talking about <laughs> half and half right now when you need to use the restroom? I don't give a damn because you know while he's got your how attention, how confused is this old person? Well, he, he, you know while he's got your attention, he also has a few other questions he needs to ask you before he pisses down his leg. I. I why do, why why do they need to talk? Like, do they just have no one to talk to? I can't imagine myself Some, getting older and still wanting to hear people. Oh, dude, I can't even imagine that. Like, be, so like, dude, some people tell me their like whole life story. That's so mean. One time, this lady told me that like I don't mean to be rude, but this lady was short and stout. Uh huh. And ugly. Yeah. Would to you? Be, to did be she rude. smell? Did she smell like diaper? No, I didn't smell her. But or she did was she just, smell like flowers. But she was like telling Macy's me that she was cooking. she was getting ready to go to a, she had a date tonight. Ooh! And I was like, oh, that's cool. And then she's talking about how her date is married. Ooh! Yeah, and that they've been together longer than that than he's been married. And I was just like, uh. I didn't ask. About that at all, dude? That's cool. No, it's not. No, I didn't care. I, well, I mean, it's good stories. I no, used no. To- I I can understand. You don't care. I wouldn't care too. When I tell you, told it's just it's, me. But my, the, the way third you, perspective, the, I wouldn't give a damn. Still, it's like the way you, the way but that it was being told to me funny. just made it seem like. They were trying to uh, like. That's a secret. Be like, whoa, cool. That's this person's edgy. <sighs> you fucking middle aged person. <laughs> what? Home wrecking. They think you're edgy, so that's why they tell you their secrets. No, oh no, they're edgy because they're telling. <laughs> I, they they're don't, telling anybody. They their don't secrets. sound edgy. They sound like they have a lot of problems, but they're living to life. To they're the living fullest. their truth, bro. Uh-huh. Living the truth. 
Except for the wife who doesn't know. There's no truth. I mean, that's the husband's fault. Well. I mean, they're both guilty, but. Guilty for pleasure. <laughs> guilty for love. <laughs> oh, gross. The old people are nasty. Yeah. I see them and I, I start spitting at them. Yeah, you spit at them. You have yeah. no respect for your elders. Not anymore. Why? Because they all grew up without me. Motherfucker. <laughs> what happened? What happened? What happened? Oh. God damn it. It was Amara. Yeah. She fucking did that on purpose. I know she did. Asshole. Because <laughs> she thinks we're lame, dude. Yeah. We are lame. Yeah, we are. Who who watches this? Mark Sanchez? Mark he, Mark can't watch it. Somehow <laughs> Mark's the only one who gets the VHS tapes. Imagine. Imagine. <laughs> <laughs> imagine. It's hard not to make a song about imagine. Imagine you know what there's Mark? no imagine. If someone says they listen to Bob, who would you think? Bob Hope. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you wouldn't think of Bob Marley, right? Like, you can't just say, I listen to Bob. You have to say, you listen to Bob Marley. What about, um... Sh- Cher? Yeah, this Cher. Is- <laughs> uh, Bob? Yeah, Bob. I think the RZA. <laughs> the RZA? I think Bobby. <laughs> you can say you listen to just the RZA. People know what you're talking about. If you just say you listen to Bob, who well, the fuck you think I'm talking about? Bob. Who? Isn't there a band called B.O.B.? I thought that's called B.O.B. though. It's fucking Bob though. (laughs) (laughs) Bring bring on buds. (laughs) Bring Bring on beers. Bring one beer. It's going to be a quick event. Just bring one beer. (laughs) We're not going to be here that long. We're going to go to the club. Just bring one beer. It's our pregame. We all drink drink a Four Loco. We all drink 40s. Do you want to do the 40 hand, the ever 40 hand challenge? No, let's do one better. Which one? We'll call it, we'll call it the quad loco challenge. <laughs> <laughs> we'll tape two four locos to both of our hands, like two four locos in each hand. <laughs> right? Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> let's do it. Dude, what the fuck's wrong? For loco, bro. <laughs> Who dude. do we do this to? Andy and Jacob. Oh, dude. You think Andy would do it? I think if we were recording it and... You we think pay- if we paid Andy $100? I don't know. 50 bucks. No, we don't even have to pay him. No, let's lowball him for no, 30 bucks. We, I bet you he'll do it for 30 no, bucks. No, we don't lowball him at all. This is how we do it. You think he'll do it for free? We say it's for the show. What show? You know the show that uh, that's in development right now? <laughs> Okay, I would, I would. That'd be a funny episode, wouldn't it? Well, how? Okay, but how? So we'd have to. I we'd have imagine to, we'd, we'd literally like skips. have to. We'd literally. Well, yeah, we're just of course. filming them, but yeah, it'd be like yeah, skips. It, yeah, t- throughout like a yeah. period of time. Yeah. But um. Yeah, the most we have to do is buy a roll of duct tape. And eight four locos. <laughs> and you know what's gonna be so funny about that? Huh. The look. That the cashier gives you <laughs> whenever you buy eight four locos. Will we get all the same or one of each? Like a different flavor yeah. for each. <laughs> <laughs> dude, that's, just, that's gross, dude. How you think? When were those made? Four locos. When were the four? Probably locos? the nineties. Yeah, you think it's the nineties? Like nineties, uh, like mad. Du- maybe eighties. But what, what no. made this popular? What made this drink popular? I I don't Mixed, know you can look uh, at like wine on it. wine coolers. Remember, like is it a wine cooler? No, uh, it's not a wine cooler. But uh, I think wine coolers where it started, dude. It's makes me want to throw up. You know what? You know what's funny, dude? I was watching that '70s show, and I think they were talking about Boone's Barn. What's Boone's Barn? Boone's Barn. Oh, what's Boone's? It's like a two percent alcohol drink, Ugh. and it's like a sweet drink. I remember drinking it one time because it tasted like Mountain Dew a little bit. What the fuck? It, just, it wasn't. And that's what they were drinking. I guess it was very popular back in the day before, you know, like all kinds of different alcohol, you know, were mass uh-huh. manufactured and stuff like that. 2%, dude. dude how think much about how get? much 
beer there is. Like how how popular alcohol is as an industry. Like oh, how, dude, like I such a variety. The, I passed by the the Miller Lite or the fucking the Coors Light fucking uh, factory. Yeah, and, the can was it the cannery? Yeah, it was the cannery. But mm. they have like you know how like there's like restaurants and they have their own you know brewing company in the back and they have all the fucking yeah. devices and the you know whatever they need. Yeah. That small, but industry rice and factory rice, it's fucking huge. Mm. Like, that's a lot of fucking alcohol. Like, oh, that they're just like yeah. building in and then selling out and then recreating. It's huge. It's massive. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. But how, how, but how many people give alcohol to that? Like, how many are there? Probably hundreds, huh? You think there's stores? Hundreds? Wholesale, bro. Warehouses buy them. But dude, it's it goes. Huge. It probably goes. I can only. I can't imagine how many gallons, dude. This is like. Oh. You know, it's taller than ten feet. Oh 10, no! You know, no, like these things are fucking, fucking huge. It's bro. It's huge. You know, there's like five of them. Yeah. It's it's unbelievable. But like, they can't even like feed all of California, huh? <laughs> dude, probably can't even feed ASU, Party I, College <laughs> of America. No. Yeah, I don't know. Just depends on how much they're. But that's probably not the only one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's probably I, yeah, just like a central course. one. Of course. Yeah. Well, there's fucking. Of course, th- like you know how many much money they're making with just that one factory. Probably a lot. Yeah, dude, I can imagine. But you know what it does? They, they go from there to warehouse to. No warehouse wonder people are to trying store. to stop these people. People are trying to stop them. What alcohol companies? Damn, we're going to live through another prohibition? No, dude, not like Aren't that. Aren't we learning our lesson with weed? No. No. I don't think anyone wants anything. Legal? Yeah. Or illegal. I say just legalize it all, dude. Legal- I say... Legalize the heroin. I say make everything illegal so that we all just break the law. I like that. I like the way you live. See? Yeah. I'm a rule follower, so I'm just going to die. <laughs> But then at my funeral, they'll just be like, well... He followed the rules? He broke the one rule. What? He died. <laughs> it's, one of the, it's one of the rules. I thought the one... The, everything's illegal. I thought one of the Get rules... Get this criminal out of here. kill yourself. That's God's rule. God doesn't... The separation of church and state, bro. Yeah, but what about what people and say? And whenever we take down our crosses off of our fucking White House walls and we start burning Christmas trees, well, that's when America's finally going to be great again, huh? You think so? I don't know. But, dude, people who are for America love Christmas. I love Christmas. Yeah. And I'm not even religious. Do you love America? I mean... Yeah, you great. Do. <laughs> yeah, see, I told you. You can I I you can't I can't say it. But there are a lot of things no. that I don't like about it, but you, guess what? There's probably a lot more things about other places that I don't like. <laughs> <laughs> you can do anything here. I mean, you can't kill someone and just Dude, Hollywood? Be dude, really cool about dude, it. Dude, go to Hollywood. Yeah, what dude, a, it's lawless there. I dude. Became it's famous. lawless there. Dude. I became famous just so I could get away with murder. But I, I hope so. I hope so. Who are you gonna murder? Ghostbusters. 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 Do you turn him into ghost? Did it, did it. And I'm just gonna be like, we have to go. Shooting my Inspector Gadget gun. What did drugs do to you? They touched my soul. Oh shit! <laughs> and they purified me, dude. From this, the heathen that I used to be, I found Christ. And I said, fuck you. Do you believe, though? In God? No, do you believe? In something? Do you believe? I believe in anything. But Dude. at the same time, I also, <laughs> d- I also doubt it. Dude, do you believe? I want to believe. In life after love? I want to believe. In aliens? It's fucking famous the pow- X-Files. Never, wa- never really watched X-Files. Oh, oh, Really? Carlos really likes it. Well, apparently you're not cool. Okay. Apparently, you're not cool. You're, oh. uh, that was the voice I was doing. So, to interject into this conversation, what was it? Someone asked me if, if uh, we had like I got asked like twelve times if we had uh-huh. buttermilk today, which we yeah. don't. Warehouse problem. Okay. No one's sending me buttermilk, uh-huh. and I got fucking yelled at about it too. I was like, my boss was like, "We don't have any fucking buttermilk." And they're like, "Yeah." They said you have no fucking buttermilk. Your boss said this. Well, it's just like it's we need to have that. 
Did they say fucking? I'm pretty sure they said shit, but not fucking. Ooh. Anyway, though, some guy, I, you know, I was I, at the end of my shift. I'm uh-huh. just like pushing all the milks forward. This guy looks at me through like one of the cracks. He's like, hey, do you have any buttermilk? <laughs> and I'm just like, no, man, we've been out. Like, we're having warehouse problems. Like, no other stores are getting it either. And he's just like, looks at me. He's like, okay. He's like, yeah, sorry about that. Dude, people, and then I, and then he closed the door, and I was just like, "Do you have any buttermilk? I just need some fucking buttermilk." Dude, you know? and then, I do the same fucking thing, dude. I swear to God. Just like, oh, sorry, honey. You know, the guy said that they don't have any buttermilk. Uh, apparently, there's a problem with their warehouse. <laughs> and, uh, you think everyone acts the I same ways some, we do? Like I mean, about I don't know. customers, like. Or do you think people are just more level headed? Well, dude, or, I fucking like. We not patient. I feel like I'm losing my patience, but I don't think that's fucking uh, old lady called the store twice today. And I was very busy today. She mm-hmm. called twice today asking about horseradish, and then she called like a third time. But I didn't talk to her the third time. But she called twice, and she's like, "You say you have this horseradish? Yeah, aisle two. Okay." She calls back. Same fucking questions. Like, yeah, it's going to be, you know, I do have it. I told you I'd have it. Aisle two. Bitch. (laughs) Dude, when you complain about the store, you sound like a bitch. Oh, I do. I bitch really bad. But you know what? There's someone that I work with that bitches way more than me. But they're, it's an old job. He's an older man. Mm -hmm. My grandma was talking about me working on Amazon. Yeah, dude. I think uh, one of your, your friends, one of uh, like I, yeah, just fucking out him right here. I guess David's thinking about playing too. Should I get on? I was thinking guess about all the jobs are going. Man, like, dude. Yeah, like, but what do you have to show for yourself? You have worked at two gas stations your whole life, and and Nona Maria's. Dude, I'm sorry. Okay, and I'm you sorry. were going to college. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm, don't hey, don't apologize to me. Dude. Apologize to the fans that are listening. I'm sorry, home. dude. I'm sorry. I work at a gas station. I'm sorry. I yeah, have a me too. Small place, dude. I love your I'm house. Sorry, you no, just dude, need a new bed. You you hurt my feelings. I don't care, dude. You're saying I'm you a know, piece of shit. No, yeah. I do my work. I pay my bills. Okay, good. So obviously, I'm not a piece of shit. Yeah. Do I affect you in any but way? You could be doing better. So it makes me a piece of shit. No, what makes you a piece of shit? What makes me a piece of shit is the way you treat me. Oh, okay. See, I can live with that. Yeah, you can live with treating me like a piece of shit. N- you're a piece of shit. No, no. I'm trying, dude. I'm trying. You're okay. trying to be a piece of shit. No, I'm not trying to be a piece of shit. Okay. You ever just it's hard. look okay. into the water? Why don't you have you ever, a new job? You ever, why don't you have a new? You I know what my grandma said. I told her that you have a manager spot. And yeah. she said, you should get manager spot. And you know, I was like, you know, I was thinking, fuck <laughs> that. Fuck what Nathaniel has to go through. That's what I was thinking. Oh, you're, so a, wise, you're a wise man. So man. don't <laughs> give me shit when I know exactly that you don't like your job either. Oh, but I you do make, make good I money. I hate my job. You can make yeah, I, make, I make some nice paychecks. You but make a pretty good paycheck. But, it, but you, like, you know, that's... But you know what sucks about that now? It's not the best now? paycheck. Of course not. It's not But yeah, of course it's not. But you know what sucks about that now? Isn't that now when I go and try and find another job, mm-hmm. I'm going to be looking for that same kind of money? Yeah. yeah, which is not bad because you know, no, if you know, if you if you look like that, hey, if you have that experience, if, if you, you know, and yeah, and exactly, if you have that no. experience and if you look like you're trying to find a job that's more offering and you know uh-huh. has more to put on the table, uh-huh. then you're probably just going to keep going up and up because you you probably won't settle for a fucking. Chili dog, like sl- slanging chili, chili wingies, chili wingies, and in um, yeah. bags at exactly. your fucking town because you know the nearest chili wingies is like an hour away. Exactly. So you have to buy them in bulk in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. And <laughs> in bags, dude. In bags. Chili wingies. I swear, guy, I see people do it. What? Buy so, bags of wingies, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking crazy, dude! He's gone oh, yeah. down there a couple of times, telling people to like stop and like, you know, don't eat all those wingies. Out. Yeah, he's pulled out like knives, guns, and stuff. But like, they never listen. No one's gonna do anything because you know, no one's gonna just kill someone in public for fucking wings. You know? I mean, that'd be. I, I, did you see that video? There's been some crazy shit, dude. Dude, um, apparently one of my mom's friends, he got like. 
a Shank? dispute happened and like he got hit in the wrong way and he died. Sad. That's cool. No, that's very sudden. Did he live? Imagine getting hit the wrong way though. That's what I'm saying. Like, but did he live after he died? No, no, no. He he died. He just so died. They buried him. Yep, they buried him. Did the, I co- think did the cops rip- know about him? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, the cops don't know about anyone until you call him. So, yes, I'm pretty sure. So they called the cops. I, dude, they, I don't know that much about it. I'm just telling, dude. On their dead friend. What I do know. Uh, to snitch talking about. <laughs> it's like, yeah, yeah, he died. <laughs> he fell the wrong way and he just died. Uh, no, he didn't. Someone did that to him, dude. Come yeah, on. but, you know, they don't Man, you're dark, snitch. bro. You're dark, dude. You're so weird. <laughs> Whatever. No, that's bro. Like, so how how was the how was the interview? Tell me about it. Nathaniel had this interview with someone. Man, we always jump around. Let the freaks <laughs> break us by you by jumping around in topics. Jump, dude. jump around jump, in topics. Jump, jump, jump. Not not the jump around. Dude, anything. we could talk about anything for ten seconds. Uh, what's up? This is a ten second podcast. We're I rip off a ten minute podcast. Sometimes like we'll be talking. Uh, you know, I'll listen to the podcast and stuff. I should stop fucking. Oh, we too. talk. We talk but very no, briefly about things. yeah certain things. And it always like oh, because like, we just spiral off into <laughs> a thousand different things. I think it's hilarious. I just like man. Well, did that's not, what you know. I'm like, does he does he just not want to answer that question? I mean, or am I being a dumbass? And then I think the same way about you. Like when you ask me a question, I don't. Oh, uh, I I'm think like, we're just he... being silly. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what's so funny what? is like I found myself. Uh, being very uh, during the interview, I found myself just being stupid and saying, "Dude, stupid. I felt stupid." Too. I was just saying stupid things. Uh, I, I I was like, "Man, I need to stop like saying stupid things in the thing because I don't want like people to think I'm just like stupid. stupid. <laughs> it's, like, it's just a dumbass." Well, that's how I described it's, our podcast. Yeah, it was like Silly. stoner conversation, but silly. we also talk about serious things sometimes. Like, well, we try not to go too serious because remember that one time where we went really serious? It was just like completely quiet because uh, what? I forgot uh, what we were talking about. It wasn't this last episode, was it? Uh-uh, it was like it's three episodes episode. again or so. Last, that last episode killed it. How are we going to live up to that one? <laughs> <laughs> like, I actually like that guys, last episode. No, I listened it was good. to it. It was a good episode. I listened to it at work and I was just fucking smiling the whole time. It was a good episode. It yeah. literally was. It was. Yeah. We had, I, I don't know what was going on. Maybe it was just like. It Probably felt like the midday. Weed. Probably the, the mids. Yeah. We were smoking. We mean the good stuff. That grade D. We were talking about a lot about like the old times, though. Yeah, we were. Ta- we talked that, about sports, and but that's stuff. not even old times. Yeah. Yeah, it was like dirt weed and stuff. We were talking about. We can talk about that now, Paul. I mean, yeah, we. Are, but the net of being is here. That's how we have our. <laughs> yeah, yeah, our, our, our state. Our stage audience. Stages, yeah, our audience. staged audience. There's a plant in there somewhere. <laughs> and... <laughs> All right, let's a uh, moment of silence for the troops. Okay. And we're back. Okay. That was a moment. A moment of silence for the troops? Yeah, all the troops that are doing well. Do you think we do enough for our troops? I don't know. What's the most... I mean... I think the social perception of it mm-hmm. is half and half. Okay. Um, I think people... Some people don't like the military. Some people do like the military. Is there anyone at our work who doesn't like the military? I don't... Maybe. I think so. Probably not. Mm-hmm. I don't know. This is what I think about the military. I know that it's a job. I know that people in the military are just people doing a job. Same with the cop. Mm-hmm. Uh, although I don't respect the cop as much as I respect someone that's in the military or a firefighter. I respect firefighters 100% more than cops. But cops do get a little bit. You'd sleep with a firefighter. You know, they've got that pole for a reason. <laughs> And I just started shaking my little rump on it. Yeah, I'll and be dude. like, you got a fire to put out in my <laughs> butt. Because the last guy that slept with me left something. And it's burning. Oh, my God. That's awesome. Yeah. I like that. Firefighters. 100, cool. uh, 101 Dalmatians. 101 Dalmatians. Uh, what do you think about... Took to make this rug. <laughs> what were we talking about? Like, fucking... We were talking about the soldiers. Oh, okay. 
but yeah, yeah, we do enough for the troops. <laughs> I think, I think uh, we we don't do enough for the troops. At the same time, very controversial, very controversial, very controversial. Damn, um, I knew I should have brought another it, beer in here. <laughs> imagine not liking the troops. I guess I'm gonna have to start drinking this whiskey now. Did you been drinking a lot lately? Uh, You're drinking I'm depressed. <laughs> really. Uh yeah, a little bit. I hate my fucking job. That's why I talk so much shit about it on and this you podcast. You love it. You love it. I love talking you... shit about it because it's like it makes for a good story. The whole time I'm talking shit. The whole time I'm, th- the whole time I like whenever that dude uh-huh. fucking was me- upset about the buttermilk. Uh-huh. I, I I was doing that and I was like, man, I can't wait to do, talk about it. Do what Efren does. Punch him. Do what Efren does. What? What he does. Right, raps? Yeah. No. <laughs> Dude, he works outside. He does labor work. You're saying your job's harder? I huh? mean, what, physically wrong? demand... Huh? You're too good for your job all of a sudden? I'm great. I'm great at my uh, job. <laughs> it took... Okay, it wait. It took four people to do my job that I called out... So sick. are you now more grateful because you don't have a friend's job? I tried to get a friend's job. I tried to get a job there. Oh, you didn't get it? No. <laughs> oh. oh, well, he tried, so he can't talk shit about it. Yeah, because yeah. I was fine <laughs> with it trying to do manual labor, bro. I do manual labor dude. now. Dude, I hate manual labor. I fucking... Dude, you don't fucking do manual labor, Nick. The most you do is work a cash register, Dude, bro. I don't want to do manual labor at the same time. I feel you. Dude, I want to work in a fucking library. I want to work in... A, that'd be amazing, right? But make like six figures... <laughs> That's illogical. Uh, dude, I would. You must be reading. One day, it you must be, be spending too much time in the fantasy section, bud. Oh shit, dude! Because that's a Harry Potter. Because huh? that's a fucking you science reading, fiction novel. You would think novel. I'm reading J.K. Huh? J.K. Rowling. J.K. More like J.R.R. Tolkien. <laughs> Junior R. Token. <laughs> what does the J even stand for? Talk about that guy, Germany. Talk about the first person who comes to your mind. First person who comes to my mind. Uh-huh. Four score and 65, was it 65 years ago? Mm-hmm. Abraham Lincoln? Yeah, for some reason, oh. Abraham Lincoln was the first person that came to my mind when you said Did that. Did you ever do a report with Abraham Lincoln? No. Nope. No. I don't. Did I, you like Abraham Lincoln? Was there anyone you liked to learn as a kid? Like, let's like, say, like, what fifth, did, sixth grade, fifth, five, and six, you know? Um, when you can start, like, thinking about You know what yourself. I really liked? In fourth grade, um, so, in fourth grade, there were certain days at certain times that classes would switch. Uh-huh. And there was, a cert, like, certain teachers had specific, um, like, things. So, I would, like, we would go a class over in fourth grade. We'd go to the class over from us, and we would learn about... Um, the history of like Arizona. Okay. And like another one was like math class, and I think another one was more writing ba- reading. It was reading, reading history and math, I believe. And I, th- I don't, I don't know, I don't even know. But it was cool because you know that was cool. I like learning a lot about Arizona, the history of Arizona. I like history a lot. I think if I were to be a teacher, I'd be an English teacher, but I would have a a minor of history, like. Like, what kind of English teacher? What grade? High school. Because I don't think I would want to deal with, like, You, you think you're children. cool? You think you're cool? No. Because I've heard stories, like, of people that are, like, our age that were teachers. And, I, and you know, there's someone our age that is a teacher yeah. where we used to go to school, where I used to go to school. Uh-huh. And it's just like, dude, these dogs need to shut the fuck up. Can I don't know if whoever's listening can hear this. Just sometimes in Joey Diaz's fucking podcast. You can he, hear his dogs? No, no. <laughs> you can't hear his dogs. You hear fucking alarms. You hear his fucking... <laughs> his fucking that's the only thing. Yeah, I, I, I can love hear Joey Diaz, but his fucking like, breathing his, is what dude, gets to me sometimes. Like, Same with Burt Kreshner. Burt Kreshner breathes? He breathes? Yeah, he breathes. He, he breathes. He breathes. You um, wear briefs? Fuck, what was I saying? Did you though? see that video they put out? Shut, shut up about other people's stuff right now. I know, but shut it's up. funny, dude. I just, shut I, up. I think they're funny. No, they're great. They're great. They're oh, they're awesome. I love them. Cool. Dude, they're, they're number one. They're number one in the podcast. Oh, dude. okay. We were talking about 
teachers that yeah. are our age. Pieces. That are how kids are pieces. Uh, of people shit. our age that no, it's like Dude, they're assholes. No, well, so check this out. The, I'm it it seems that. like it seems like this guy just never got over high school. He he loved high school uh-huh. a lot. Uh huh. And it just like never left him. Whenever he went to college, you know, he was like he was very extracurricular, you know. He, he was into those clubs and stuff. Mm-hmm. But now it's just like it's like a student. Some of his students are like his legitimate friends. Like, whoa. Wait, he's an English teacher for college? No, he's an English teacher at a high school now. Well, you mean his friends? I mean... He teaches his friends. Some of the students, uh-huh. he makes, like, he becomes really good friends with some of his students. To the point where they're, like, friends. Not like, hey, you're my teacher. Cool. Whenever I graduate, I hope we can become friends. It's like... It's like, oh, no, we're friends. We kick it. Be like, oh, but then they're going to go to your class during the week, right? Like, yeah. That's strange. Whoa. What? That sounds very strange. I can't yeah, remember. but it's all small <laughs> town weird no, shit. I don't know, dude. That sounds... I would Even I small town not... weird shit. What the fuck? See, I would probably be more like, um, like the that English teacher weird. that I became friends with. You know, he kicked it. He didn't... He kicked it with like the kids that he knew were like kissing you. No, cool. That kissing were just you. like punks kissing and you. skaters, like kissing you. And there's like, num, 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 num. <laughs> but then again, you know, that's hypocritical to say because that is still hanging out with kids. Yeah, but well, and I, it, it's like I don't know. It's just I guess the only it's thing- like you're not getting fucked up with those kids though. Yeah, that's but, true. And this, I don't know. That's just some case. Weird. In this case, it might is, be different. I was going to make a different point, but your point's like very fucking... It's a strange point. What was your point going to be? Mine was just going to be like... <laughs> the, like, I fucking hate the kids who, who think they're smarter than the teacher, but you're like... You're like, these teachers, they'll sometimes hang out with these students. And, oh, yeah. And I'm just like, oh, God, this... this Taking sounds, a strange turn. Yeah, this is a very strange turn. Well, let's talk about this. About what? Because a lot of teachers are having sex with their students. I know. It's fucking weird. Now, is this a case? I don't want to start Is this rumors. a case? No. no. I don't want to start No, any this rumors. man is gay. No. Dude. <laughs> that, that that doesn't stop it doesn't, people. I think he's kicks it more with female that it, but I, I don't. I know. I, I, I don't know what you fucking mean by that. I'm just I don't saying know. we're getting I, onto some murky waters. I know. <laughs> that's. I want to push it. You want? Yeah, Who's gonna the, listen to until this? the t- Mark? I want to. Mark's I, gonna go take this to the school board. Yeah, Mark, if Mark's <laughs> gonna be like, I. It's like my children were Mr. listening to this. Mr. Filth. Mr. Trejo listens to this. I hope so. He lives right down the street. Can from me. we get? In trouble for these names, or could we? Like, I mean, we're name dropping people, but like, like who right. who would know? Who would know? Means? Yeah, anybody say, from the tri community. But you that think that's even a problem? This. No, because no one from the tri community listens to this. There's one person, but that person doesn't even live in the tri community anymore. <laughs> you're, you're, you're like going for some big job, okay? I'm going you're, for. Honestly, you're going I, for some big you know job, what, and though? they pull up. You, uh, you they, know, I was thinking that because. Um, they, my my neighbor uh-huh. had, was telling. They asked me about a show that I had, uh-huh. and they said that they were like snooping around online, uh-huh. and you know they were like spying on me pretty much online. That's scary. Not really, because I put it out in the open. So if it, if I if it was something to hide, uh-huh. and they were like, "So tell us about the fucking cat you ran over ten years ago." <laughs> like, whoa, where'd you find out about that? We hacked into your Digital poem journal. Oh my god! <laughs> Your digital diary. Is that real? I mean, I did run over a cat one time, <laughs> and I know whose cat it was, oh. and I saw them post about it, and I felt really bad, and I still feel really bad because now I understand what it. No, well, I always know what it's like to fucking lose a cat. So we're smoking meth in here. Yeah, uh, this is new high grade meth, and uh, it does not read in your system. So Dude, you can get weird. as high as the, on this man. What, what was I uh, talking no, about? No, anyway. Fucking, um, I was talking about something. W- w- are you still trying to talk about teachers? 
no, 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 kids no. being smarter no, than teachers. No, 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 no. We were. Oh, um, no, we, that murky water. You already went with the murky water. So, oh, <laughs> yeah, I was trying to push it as far as I can. Yeah, I don't want to start any fights. He's a good guy. Um, but we, we then we started talking. But that about, sounds pretty. Weird. Um, but I was, strange, I was, I was strange. thinking that um, killing kids. No, okay, killing good. younglings. No, killing not. at younglings. <laughs> Um, but <laughs> uh, fuck, what the fuck are they saying? <laughs> fuck, dude, it's what? just saying memes in here. <laughs> now we're just making noises with our mouths that sound funny. Uh, dude, you made me forget one thing. Uh, what the fuck was I gonna say, dude? We were talking about. Oh, online. So I do feel like uh, people that like when I apply for a job, they're gonna see. They might see. They're gonna see this from me, definitely. See, but the thing is, my life's is there's catalogs. Like there's this is like there's over fucking like twenty hours. There's like over twenty five hours worth of fucking audio. Uh How how much bad audio do you think we've said? So how like out of like twenty five hours worth of audio, how much audio do you think is actually like something, without cl- with something that might be like everything is said in such a in such a shitty tone? I can't imagine someone it's shitty tone as in like like it, it does, sounds like it's gonna make us laugh at any moment just for saying it. You know, like like. <laughs> so does that mean you like, know, like, uh, well, like we're, so, it, we're so saying it with if, like if you weren't us would would you interpret that as oh these guys are assholes or oh these guys are just not serious about anything I I from my pers- from an outside perspective I can only see people saying these guys aren't serious about anything because like it it sounds like that you know like imagine just two people just starting something out of nowhere it, and they're just talking that sounds like something that no one, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about you know yeah we're just two people you know i can i can only be able to interpret that from an outside view as like you know just two friends that are being dumb asses yeah. but like you know there's of course there's always our things where we get serious yeah exactly but there's but always those people you, that be like yeah, but that's Take why every word. Yeah, to but that's why I mean. Uh, serious, uh, even when we were say. saying like those, you know, if we said something stupid, you know, of course we never mean it. Oh, like when we're like, smoking meth right now. Yeah, you know, but it said. Our, I feel like our tone, just the way we say it, it doesn't even imply like it's not like a serious. It tone. doesn't like, imply we're truth. Talking to your, like to the general <laughs> like, Nixon. Uh, it's like, hey, uh, uh, we, uh, so I yeah, really uh, uh, hate these people. Uh, these uh. These people have become a problem, and um, I need you to take care of it. Because, Dad, uh, how was Nixon going to do it? We, we got, was he going to, We like, got the drones ready. Did he have secret we, police? We got... We, do you we, think Nixon had secret police? We got the secret police. <laughs> and then Ronald Reagan just ran with it, and he made the Ronald DEA. Reagan, Reagan, Ronald, Ronald Reagan. Did Ronald Reagan make the DEA? <laughs> it wasn't Ronald Reagan. Was hey, no, can you stop no, talking no. like that? You're getting spit all collected in the corner of your mouth, and it's yeah, disgusting. Dude, that's what old people do. That's what they do on the I, campaign trails. I oh, know. Da-da. They, uh, I used to have a wrestling coach uh, it was that Nixon would, who uh, wrestling coach invented that would this get it right here, and then he would just have or maybe it was, one uh, like string. Uh, who the fuck is Kissinger? Mouth. Who made the fucking bomb, bro? <laughs> what are your thoughts on? Tell me, I want to know. Thinking, thinking, on thinking. Do you think people are thinking enough nowadays? I, you know, what I was thinking about on my way here. What? What were you thinking about? Pew! I was thinking about something like in that category, um, a little different. So I believe, you know, we're the people our age are smarter than the people of, um, you know, 50 years ago, just by s- children alone. Mm-hmm. Like how the school criteria is. I feel like people are learning a mo- lot more and a lot quicker. Oh, of course. And like the people, like kid, the kids now have a lot more facts in their head than kids fifty years ago. Oh, of course. My dad told me he's just like you know you're smarter than I was back at you yeah know, at that age. And so, oh fuck, I was gonna get to this point. Damn, I'm I'm losing it. I'm losing it. I'm dude. What's up with these thoughts today? They're just you're going just out the window, your dude. Point? Oh my god. 
Wait, wait. You're talking I can about, about children yeah. becoming smarter because they have more facts in their heads. Yeah. You gonna you? We got dead. Or maybe air right that. Now. Or maybe that is my point. That's the point. Maybe that's well, my point. I agree. You know, uh, we it's definitely we, well. There's more knowledge at hand. Yeah. You know, we're to to be that smart back in the day. You literally had to go like read books and study these things. Uh-huh. For us, there's just like video about anything Mm -hmm. you know i fucking was looking i I look at videos all the time on how to fucking take things like fix things on my car Mm -hmm. or just like fix dash problems with like lights and stuff you can like you can watch a documentary about someone and you literally learn all the facts that you need to know about them just the well now yeah you know if it's a good documentary oh it's not biased because you know there's like thousands of documentaries and some Go over different things. Ex- well, some, but I'm talking like, about, you know, a person alone, not like a historical, you know? Yeah. More like just a person alone, like a like a documentary about Einstein or whoever, you know? Yeah. You, they'll go over the m- main key points and like who they were. The key and like main what, points. Yeah, you know, all that. And you literally know about them. And then it's that easy. Unless you start diving into their work, but that's always something different, you know? Yeah. Well, it just depends because, you know, there's books on people. Like, mm-hmm. I'm almost positive there's thousands of different books about Hunter S. Thompson. Have you ever seen... Have you ever... I remember reading this guy's book on the plane because I was sitting right by him. Mm-hmm. He's reading a Stephen Hawking's book. I was reading it. You're reading it off of his, out of his hands? Yeah. Because I'm like that. You're a weirdo. I'm a fucking, I, I yeah, well, I bet if he was texting to you, you'd just be reading his text. I probably would be. You're. you're so, I don't know why. You're so I, intrusive. I've, I don't. I don't care. I don't know why. <laughs> Someone could be like, "I got him. He's gonna die." I'd be like, "Oh." Imagine. I'm, I'd like not like, even think twice about it because then I forget about it. Like even when I'm looking at it, I'm like not even paying attention. I'm just, you just read I'm it I'm just, real quick. I'm just kind of looking. Like I'm looking at the same way I'm reading it, but not comprehending it. Imagine if you moved his hands like ten minutes ago and you're just staring at his balls. No, dude, I'm not you're, fucking you're staring. A ball gazer, I'm not ha, a dick ha, gazer, ha, dude. Ha, 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 ha. Ball gazer. This uh, episode dude, of the podcast like? is brought to you by Ball Gazer. The no, new video no, game no, coming to no, Wii U. That was lame. No, dude, the Wii U still play? No, yeah, dude. I finally played the a Switch. Switch. I played a Switch for the first time. Yeah, dude. I saw that. And why were you like? Tell me about that. What's your dynamic? Tell me. How did you feel about? How did you feel about? Strong. He had. He had a. He had a. Super pop. strong. He did yeah, a live stream about with this, Avery. Bro. We already talked about this. No, we didn't. We didn't dive into it. We talked about it for a second. We didn't dive into it. You didn't tell me how you felt. Deep dive? It was fun. Because it looked fun. I sucked at But you suck at video games. Yeah, I do. You really do. Why? I wasn't there to play video games. You're definitely the type of guy who doesn't doesn't know how to have fun on video games. What are you talking about? No, because you want to play Fallout and shit. Yeah. Yeah. And so you don't know how to play these fucking fun games. Mario Party is a fucking fun game. You ever and you ruined that <laughs> experience for yourself because you're like, oh, man, I don't know how to play it. You didn't dive into it. Super There's Smash a way to Bros. Dive. is fun. Well, dude, Did you play Mario? Super Smash Bros.? No, we played Mario Party. Yeah. And Mario Party... Yeah, you sucked at it. No, it's kind of lame. No, it's fun. It's a board game. Yeah, it's fun. I don't want to play a board a game bunch of online. Mini games, Mario. That's not fun, dude. You suck. See, that's what I mean. You're boring. No, that's not no, fun to me. No, no, that's not fun no. to me. I watching battle people play battle royales. Not she that invited fun you to, me, to play a game, and that's how you treat the game by saying it was I boring. Had, I had fun. I know. I know but you did. That's not a game I can go see but myself like, playing by myself. You're playing it with someone. That makes it even more fun. The the experience was fun. The game, you eh, suck at three it. That's out of ten. You need to learn how to have fun with those games. That, was, those, that, the, here's the well, thing. You, okay, you're that here's guy. The, one hey, that everyone has eight controllers. Hey, hey here's, and like, here's the thing. You're the eighth guy who doesn't want to play. Hey, here's the thing. Because you don't know how to play. Oh, I don't know how to play. Hey, here's the thing. So you're going to watch everyone no, play. That's not oh, a, I'm, no, I'm good like, at watching. A, like, huh? So with huh. Smash Bros, I can I can, oh. I don't play Smash Bros, but I can, I'll play well, but it. We're talking about Mario Party. We're to, talking about Mario yeah, Party. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Oh, ball. Hey, shit. <laughs> fuck. Okay. Here's what I gotta say. <laughs> we're talking about Mario Party. I'm about to break some fucking hearts right now. <laughs> okay. I was never really. You'll play plenty of 
Super Smash Bros. No, I was just like... She just told her to change it to Mario Kart. She just said, hey, how about we just wander around the wasteland of Fallout 4? <laughs> you would have yeah, loved just, that. Just you watch lo- me. Uh, no, but the thing is, is like, I don't really care it, about it like, fun. No, it looked Nintendo, fun. original Nintendo games. Because you're gay, but it looked fun. Yeah, I, you look like you're having a good time because I love sucking dicks and not playing Nintendo games. What's their me- media group called? We can do wait, that for them. What? Wait, go follow. Wait, what? What's up? Media group. Wait, wait, it's wait. What? Wait, wait. What? No, what? Uh, no, media group. Are you sure? Yeah. Wait. wait period. What? Wait, what media? What? Oh, yeah, Question it mark? is. Yeah, it's for media group. Yeah. Okay. Wait, what media group? They actually just won. Like uh, they did. Like the first Friday. Or this, yeah, first Friday shorts at the loft, uh-huh. and they won. It's like a two hundred dollar prize. What? Yeah. See? Yeah, we need you. I see. T- yeah, we need. I know. I we know need. you can come up with something good. Yeah, good enough to. It's it's all gonna be drama right now. I know, n- n- but like drama I, with a splash of comedy. Like, I, but I I know you can make something good. Dramedy. You're good, dude. You're good. I'm so Even good. if you saw it on the big screen, dude. I'm you, so fucking good. Yeah, man. you're really good. I see it on the big screen until everybody starts booing and then they turn it off. I hate you, dude. And then they start coming after me, and I'm like, I'm trying to inspire I'm you. I'm like Frankenstein. I'm uninspirable. I know you are. I don't. You, you know the only person who can inspire me? Who? Ralph. 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 <laughs> Just make a video about Ralph. I want to make a, a video game, like a stereotypical gamer video. Uh-huh. But in a, in like a... I don't know. We'll talk more about it whenever we're not recording. Because I just unfinished idea. ideas. Oh, no, I'm not saying that it's not going to be our idea, but it's like... It's just stupid. I don't want to talk about it on this podcast. Yep. Any um ideas on how we can get more views? Uh, what, what should be? You know how like in all those old shows we used to watch on Disney and Nickelodeon, when they come up with a great idea to get the following that they need to. What's our big idea? <laughs> uh, what's our big idea? Yeah, what's our big when idea? we go to video format. I, oh, keep, yeah, oh, yeah, that is what, big idea. Well, so this is the thing. When we go to video format, I want to ha- I wanna have our environment be like a reflection of like what we like yeah. and like kind of like who we are. Like a dash of sophisticated, but a big splash of... I feel like... Uh, a big splash of like nerdy. I feel like we should have definitely a bookcase. Like yeah, a, with some books in it, like not, but one more. Maybe you know that bookcase you had with the books and all the tapes, books like all that, like like that. We like, should have right this one. You know, you know, it had all your VHS tapes and all the books and like oh my DVD collection. My, yeah, yeah, it'd be dope. Have all your all my DVDs. Yeah, so people and like, know what I like to watch. Yeah, and like all that stuff. That'd and then be like cool. probably. This TV just right by us and stuff. Always playing something maybe, that we don't have the rights to so that we have to blur it out. Or maybe we just... Put our logo on it. Or we just like... Yeah, put the logo on it. Yeah, definitely. That'd be... I'm pretty sure we could make a fucking loop of a disc for the... Like some crazy logo just bouncing around. It's like freaks, 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 yeah, freaks, sure, freaks. Sure. Something like that. Yeah. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. Um, I yeah. Be, we should do that, honestly. Or we could just have the logo of the freaks. Let the freaks speak. Let the freaking or we can freaks have an, then we can speak change, in. And maybe that'll be the, the new thing where we just have a different vi- uh, thing on it all the time of our stupid ass memes. Yeah. Or, Did you like my big head the other day? Snapchat. Oh, when you were in the bathroom? Yeah. It was pretty funny. Yeah, that you face was like, weird. That face was weird. Your face I've been making weird. like weird faces. I scream and then, dude. Sometimes I yell in the thing. Like I'll like when someone's. You know how you're saying like how you like do that. Like how you start yelling that. Yeah. What time I? Yeah, I yell in there too. Like, do they hear you? No. One time someone said like, "What do you say?" But I knew they couldn't hear me. <laughs> Did you acknowledge them? No, I never do. Whenever someone talks to me, dude, I literally put it on silent. So I don't have to hear him. You fucking. I don't, fucking. dude. I I hear too much of it. I'm sorry. I can't be nice. What if this guy was like, "How thick is that glass? Is it is that glass bulletproof?" No. 
Someone asked me that one time. <laughs> I was like, no. What the fuck? So what are you going to do if someone, someone should... puts, pulls a gun on you? <laughs> I was going to run in the restroom because doors are locked. Unless they break the glass, then I'm running out the back and just going straight. Pretty fucking It's easy. Wise you know, move. Because that person's just going to be like, oh, I'll get through the front, you know? Shoot through the front and then break the glass. If they're thinking like that. Where are you going to run to? Into the store? Dude, where are they <laughs> going to run to once they can't see me? I can get my car. I can hire my car. Maybe not, or maybe I'll hide behind the store. Why dude. wouldn't you? Just, why would they just? Be why cheating? wouldn't you just run into the store where there's a fuckload of people running, dude? I'm not gonna say anything, but I've seen the news, and whenever some people are in the store and there's like a shooting going on, the store is the last place you want to be. Apparently, well, get out of the store. I think that's how they. You know, I think be. about that stuff yeah. sometimes, dude. I thought about it during vlog now, and I was just like. I I really hope everyone's doing their job and like making yep. sure no vagrants even come in. You know, not even just low life. Yeah, fucking well, just pieces people. of shit. Yeah, exactly. You know? Just that's just that's just crazy though because I think about it sometimes because I'm in the cooler and I can't hear shit sometimes. So I think about it. I was like, what if I? What if like that were to happen? Like maybe at and the they front came of the in store. There. And I'm thinking, just like, would you run at them? How would I react to it? And I thought about it. I I was like, oh, I got plenty of stuff I could fuck someone up with in my department. Like, because I got these like hooks that I use to like pull crates and stuff off. But wouldn't you just get out of there? Yeah, no, I would definitely run out the back if yeah. I could. But you know, if I didn't know what the fuck I could do, I'd probably just shut my my cooler and then um, and then it would turn off. The light would turn off, and I would just hide somewhere in my cooler. Oh no, I feel like they checked the cooler. But this is the thing, is I would make it to where I can either jump out of the front, like one of the milk doors, uh-huh. and then just take off, because I'm near an emergency That's exit. true. You can just knock one of those things over and just run out. Oh, no, I don't have to knock it. I just move it. <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah, that'd be some fucking crazy shit. Fuck that, though. But do you, do you really think that someone that just shot up a store, no. the front of a store, would walk all the way... To the back of the store and check the fucking. Do you even know. think they'd have time for that? I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I'm just like pointing out the hypothetical of anything can happen. Yeah. You know? No, it, it's because that's up, why it's I just wouldn't want. I just wouldn't age. want anyone to just stay in the cooler. Like, get out of the cooler. It's like a closed right. space. You know, it's a closed space. Well, the, the thing is, it's not though. The thing is, is there is more than one exit. Okay, just wait by the other exit. Pretty much. But then, <laughs> yeah. then you go to the other exit, you're like. It's like, fuck, I got to jump over like all kinds of shit to get to that first exit. You're like breaking shit. It's all goofy. <laughs> it's like Paul Blart comedy. But, but Paul Blart doesn't make it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but Paul Blart doesn't make it. <laughs> Sorry, Kevin. Ah, uh, dude. You, you, that was a real low point for him. It's, really? You know, no, I like Paul Blart the first time. I one. saw it in theaters and when I was a little kid, I liked it. But that's why I didn't have a movie movie taste. But then you realize, as you grew up, that movie is shit. Well, it's a kids movie. Oh, yeah. it's it's okay. it's aimed but, for kids, uh-huh. and it, it it was it was like writing. I think it was writing off of the steam of Observe and Report. Because you know, Observe oh, yeah. and Report's fucking amazing, dude. Uh, people don't like that movie. I fucking love I that fucking, movie. Yeah, that bro. movie is like the one of my dialogue favorite. in that movie is so and, and the way he crazy. acts is phenomenal. It's, exactly, he has dude, the best dude, acting. In that. That's it's, like that's it's, Seth Rogen that's, actually what, acting. What's so good about that is I that like, it's 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 fucking Seth Rogen's hilarious, but it's not Seth Rogen humor. You think he's like, you think he ever understands how well he does, or you think he blows it off at this point? I I would imagine he blows it off, but you think he has some respect for that role in any way? Maybe he, at the time when he was I, doing it. I think he it. did fucking amazing. Oh, it was a fucking great... And we all do. It, and, here's the thing, though. It probably didn't do that well. Yeah. As well as uh-huh. they would hope. Maybe. And, like, all the parts, of her, you know, the part with Danny McBride, that shit's funny, dude. Like, they leave him out in the fucking, you know, they take him to the hood, and he's all like, ah. And then he has a picture of his kid, and he beats it. Like, Get to sit the fuck He's down. like, the well, I hope so, because he's my son. <laughs> 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 I don't just have any random-ass kid tattooed on my chest. <laughs> so stupid. Yeah, dude, he whenever, kicks their asses. When it, and then he takes the kid, and he sits him down, and then he just goes like, he's like, the fuck I thought. <laughs> that line, listen to that. The fuck I thought. <laughs> The fuck does that even mean? See, right now I was like, "The fuck does that even mean?" 
Dude. When did that Dude. become a thing? Dude. Instead of saying what? Oh, like, no, what like, the fuck does that the even 90s? mean? It's just like, the fuck does that even mean? The 90s stoners. Goddamn 90s stoners. They're just like... Oh, well, might as well just start doing heroin now. And so they're just like... So, I'm, so might as well start smoking nutmeg. I heard it get too high. Needle. Uh, you know, I thought about that. You're supposed to mix it with water. And smoke it? Or no. huff it? What, what you yeah. Doing? What do you mean, mix it with water? Don't know. Do you mix it with water, then dry it? And then you smoke it. And then you smoke it? <laughs> yeah, you smoke the water. <laughs> you, put it, you put it in a plastic bottle, you start burning the plastic bottle. Uh, you start, your esophagus starts burning. It's like, ah! You start. You start hating Ooh. people. Ooh. Ooh. No phones, but guess who? Guess who put up an 856? Oh, 856-1, yeah. I always to. want to say, like... Why don't you share it on your fucking story, bitch? You never do. I know, I need to start. Because it's suck. not a good picture of me. Dude, no, dude. Hashtag duck lips. Hashtag Nathaniel. That's me. So... Step up. So we calling two. it? Step up two. Step up two. Let's end it with hey, let's, that. Let's end up with step up two. All right, we're gonna go step, watch step, step up, up two. two. We're gonna go on a step up series, and then we'll do, we'll give you guys a episode by episode breakdown of each step up movie. It was fun to it, it was have fun everyone. Well, lasted. So this uh, this episode is sponsored by Ingie's Wingies, and this Woo! is the A five six three one Productions. That's A five six S I X three one Productions. And, just and this is clear. Nicholas Bearcat Valenzuela and Nathaniel No Needles Lopez. And Where? we'll always be coming with the best entertainment for, you know, decades all Decades to come. Decades to come, apparently, you know. Until 600, the final episode. Peace out. Everybody. Good night. <laughs>